you're going to shut down major things without a lot of a lot of effort, um, which is kind of scary to think about and an implication we have to consider uh, to get on top of very quickly. I mean, how how do you decipher between we should tell everybody and maybe let's figure out how to close this up very quietly so that we don't shut down all of our critical infrastructure. Yeah, true. yeah it, is, it is not easy. And, and you, you know, even when we were in Los Angeles, we asked, so the, the Mumbai attacks became almost synonymous around the globe, kind of like 9-11 did, is could you prevent it? And even in the U.S. in Congress, there were briefings on could we prevent a Mumbai-style attack in our major cities? That's a tough question. And I think, I think we could, and there are some differences in uh, services from Mumbai. And I discovered some of those, and, and I'm not an expert in Mumbai, but I definitely saw you know, they have like a colonial British system on purpose. So their natural policeman doesn't have a, a gun. And they're, in this attack, there are heroes throwing rocks at terrorists with AK-47s because they don't have a weapon, but they're the first responder on the ground. Mm. Um, so you have, like we were talking about preparedness, but then you actually have response and, and how you respond, right? How do you respond in chaos like this? You exercise it, right? So you, you, you know better than I, you, you do these major exercises so you can exercise your command and control systems and exercise your response systems. And I think that's what Mumbai highlighted to this city um, was you know, basically the lack of investments in, in security infrastructure, the lack of they had SOPs for responding to major attacks, but they weren't imp implemented like, like they had. Uh, and then there was a major gap on basically the echelon of requesting support. But we've seen attacks like this in the past where you know, it was, it's the heroes, the first responders that you want somebody there immediately with the quite right equipment to respond. So here you have you know, terrorists with AK-47s and lots of grenades, and you have a, a single man responding with either no weapon or he has a he has a handgun and a flak vest that's meant to stop shrapnel and not a bullet and a plastic helmet and all those lessons were learned here I mean, i think from a from a disaster response even the ems control center there were they said almost 1400 phone calls to 911 basically between 9 p.m. and 2 a.m. during this attack it's basically a call every 4 minutes mm -hmm. uh, the the chaos that they wanted to and still they beautifully executed. 